Butlins, uh, Filey, Yorkshire, summer 1972. I was a student in Manchester, Manchester Polytechnic, and Martin Parr and I were looking for a summer holiday job to earn some money and also to um, try and do some kind of documentary project together. We saw an advertisement in a, in a photo news uh, journal asking for walkie photographers to work at Butlins and we thought, great, kill two birds with one stone. You had black and white film in your camera, you had a Leica and a flash gun and you just had to persuade people to be photographed and if they like the picture they buy it. But of course by the time you got to sort of Tuesday or Wednesday midweek they'd all been photographed once or twice and they didn't really want to spend any more money on a photograph. So this is when you sprung on them um, the fact that you could do these lovely colour key ring fobs. I, th I have one in my pocket with this little rattly chain on it and you hold it up to the light and there in the end is a colour picture of you or in this case of me. And, but then you know I carried another camera I had a Pentax of my own Spotmatic with a 50 millimeter lens, and I started trying to photograph my responses to the place. Probably the most action packed picture of the ones that I took was of this chalet maid being pushed into the swimming pool. Now the reason that I, I think this is the kind of best shot is because it's a picture that I feel quite guilty about. Um, I feel guilty about it because I am so cl close to her <laughs> being pushed in that I could have prevented her probably from being pushed in. But you know, I probably wanted her to be pushed in so that I could get the picture. And there she is and you know, she's all dry and she's got makeup on. And although she seems to be smiling, but you would, wouldn't you? You, you, did, you wouldn't want to let on that you were embarrassed by this. But then, you know, a second later, she was going to be wet through with everybody laughing and pointing and she'd have to drag herself out of the pool. Yes, I'm, I'm a bit mortified by this picture. <laughs> One of the things that really, really caught my eye though was the way there was this kind of alternative fashion show that was taking place among the, the teenagers. There's a lovely uh, young woman there with a T-Rex t-shirt and she's made this fantastic costume for herself, a kind of brown leather jacket with frilly bits cut into the leather. And then there's um, two pictures of boys with hats with feathers in their hats, which is, this isn't the kind of popular fashions that we see in the fashion magazines telling us what young people were wearing. But they were doing it at Butlins that summer. And then there were these dining halls. Um, there's a lovely picture, a massive mural, sort of Caribbean scene of a cruise ship that's arrived in the Caribbean and, and all the people are getting off and meeting all the local natives who were all feeding them coconuts and stuff. And this was painted on the wall in this, in this dining room. There's a wonderful domed building I took a picture of, which is called the Dome of Fun and Fortune, which had been, I think, I mean, I'd have no proof, but it looks to me like the sort of place where you keep bombs, a kind of bomb dump or an armory or something. It was derelict by the time I got there, but Butlin put a little crown on its, on its head and uh, painted it a bright colour. The exhibition did launch at Impressions Gallery in 1972, in that November, and Val Williams and Martin Parr and I have always thought that it was a black and white exhibition. You know, black and white was the colour of photography back then. We didn't get excited about colour pictures as documentarists in Britain, really until the 80s. And it was when um, uh, work came over from America, particularly William Eggleston's pictures. And uh, eventually I found a picture taken by Andy Sproxton of Martin Parr and I standing in front of um, the pictures the moment we'd finished hanging them in the exhibition. and. Um, Sure enough, the picture of between us on the wall is of four very small images stuck together on, and mounted as, as one, on one panel. And these four pictures um, turn out to be colour pictures. 